boxing officials haven't given up on Justice Funi's fight for gold in Tokyo, but the devastated young boxer has, after a hand injury, suffered beating up Paul Gallen. For 15 years, he's dreamed of becoming Australia's first boxing gold medalist. Yeah, I got the news last night uh, and I, I broke down in tears. I, I feel like I let, I let my the boxing team down and... Uh, you know, all of Australia. Justice Huni pummeled Paul Gallon for 10 rounds last Wednesday. He'd taken a niggling hand injury into the bout, but aggravated it in the first round. Gallon's pre-fight promise is now cruelly prophetic. Let's break your jaw, break your face, break your arm. Bring it, bring it. I don't it. care what it is. I'm going to do bring everything it. I can to break something on. in you so you don't, you don't go to the Olympics. That dream since you've been seven years old is going to be... Huni needs surgery. Officials are still desperately seeking a quick fix but now he's resigned to six months out and waiting for 2024. I'll definitely be looking in um, trying to make that Olympics. Still just 22, under current rules, Huni could only take four more pro fights to stay eligible for Paris. Matt Carmichael, 7 News. All right, so last Wednesday, a week ago, actually right about now, about an hour or so ago, the event would have been over. Former, I guess you can say now, well, not officially yet, but Olympic hopeful, 5 and over 4 KOs, Justice Hooney here, defeated NRL footballer um, Paul Gallen via 10th round knockout. And as you heard right there, Paul Gallen said he's going to make sure he didn't go to the Olympics. And if you didn't hear, he took an injury into the ring. So Justice Hooney, I've got a chance to watch, you know, many of his fights. Well, actually, you know, the fights that are available online and really following them interviews, you know, um, thanks to my colleague who we have on the line, we're going to hear from in a minute, Big J. And I was really interested in seeing what he was going to be able to do in the Olympics in Tokyo, which is supposed to start from my understanding, the first fight for him would have been about July the 23rd, 24th. Or so the fight took place on main event pay-per-view over. It was a big fight over in the oceanic region. He's trained by his father, promoted by um, well-known, established promoter Dean Leinigan. And there are many questions going into the fight and many things that me and my colleague talked about that we're going to go into right now. So what we're going to do is, please take your time out, like the video, subscribe. This is T-Street Controversy and Big J with FightView360.com. So, Big J, are you there? Yeah, good night, Hey, guy. Does this get you upset as, as, a, no. as an Australian boxing fan, Olympic hopeful? Well, it, it gets me really upset, but it pisses me off to the fact that he never should have done it in the first place, and he's got no one to blame by himself, because I called this. You did. When he was going to do this. I mean, this was just pure arrogance and egotistical stupidity to think that he could have two fights three weeks uh, within each other, five weeks before the Olympics. What a fucking stupid move, and it's blown up in his face, and Justice Hooney will go down as the biggest backfire in Australian boxing history. Because I reckon he is... I reckon he's going to be... Not even has been, he'll be a never was. I think this is all going to fall apart for him. I hope I'm wrong, but I think that this is going to be the beginning of the end for him. Because he needs surgery, he's going to be out for six months, and by then, the public will move on. So... It's, he, he had the opportunity. He was supposed to be the best prodigy we ever had to win an Olympic gold medal. He could have carried the flag at the Olympics if he won, you know, the closing ceremony, if he won. He was the, he was the captain of the team, for Christ. Uh, I shouldn't blaspheme. Captain of the team, for fuck's sakes. He was the great hope for Australian boxing. And he's just fucked it because someone filled his head full of shit and said it'd be a good idea to have not one but two fights against decent opponents five weeks before the fucking Olympics. Oh, my. I'm like, i got no sympathy for him. Sorry. It might yeah. sound cruel, but I'm like, you did this to yourself. You reap what you sow. You shouldn't have done it in the first place. I called it. We were very concerned. Me and you were the only ones that showing concern about his welfare for these fights. No one else was. I wonder if anyone tapped him on the shoulder and said, mate, this is probably not a good idea. You know, you're barely a pro. You need to focus on the Olympics and you want to have not one, but two fights a month out from the Olympics. That's not a good idea. So he's totally done to himself, and I've got no sympathy for him. Yeah, I'm, um, I have right. his box rec pulled up here, so let's go through it. He fought 
Now he spoke. Now the Olympics are supposed to start. You know, in fact, I'm going to pull it up right now for you. We're going to take a little small jump cut. All right. So we have the um, boxing schedule pulled up here. So basically, he was supposed to fight. The super heavies were supposed to fight on the 25th here, according to Eastern Standard Time, right? Oh no, that's um Japan time. So basically, you can do the translation. I have it pulled up here on the screen. Now, looking at his box rec resume, he fought in December. Okay, that's okay, cool, all right. But then they pushed it too far because he fought in April, April the 10th. Olympics in July, remember, of 2021. April the 10th was fine. That was, that was like a two-minute fight. That was nothing. Okay, but still, fine. but still, and then he goes and fights still, though. It's the training camps and everything, the sparring, all that. We got to factor that in, even if the fight only went. Mm, that's true. You know, one round. And that's then true. he fought uh, Christian So uh, We're going to butcher this guy's Soy. name. Soy. Cr Soy. Christian Soy. There you go. Christian there Soy. you go. It makes sense. Okay. Christian Soy, you know, here in the States, yeah. that would have been um, Memorial Day week. Uh, that was May the 26th. That went all 10 rounds. Remember, he had a training camp and build up for that fight, too. Then goes. Yeah, that was a glorified sparring session, really. Yeah, uh, but then he's but he was sparring before the fight too. So, you know, and then right. you have the Paul yeah. Gallon where he was laying yeah. hands upon Paul Gallon using his hands a lot. And Paul Gallon yep. does seem like he got one of them hard heads. You know, and a guy who's uh, yeah, got gonna... Go, what yeah. were you saying? Paul Gallon Paul Gallon's got a coconut head. He's a hard motherfucker. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, and and you know, guys like um one thing Sergey Kovalev said about when he fought Bernard Hopkins, I was actually a ringside at that fight was basically um, that, you know, Bernard Hopkins is one of those guys you look at like got a really hard head. You know, here, let me pull up Paul Gallon so they can see, you know, for those who don't know. You know, look, doesn't look like he just got like a, you know, you punch that shit just stone. So I look at it like this, right? I knew something, I knew something was wrong. You know, and I said, like, you know, if like, who, the, the, the management team, the promotional team, we're not going to sugarcoat this shit. The Paul Gallon fight, yes, the money was there, but guess what? The Olympics are only a month. The money would have been there after it. So I'm wondering, you know, did they think like, all right, were they not confident in him in the Olympics? Like, you know, he may not win, so let's get this money now because if he loses, the Olympics come back. You know, we're going to have to start him over anyway. Now look at this. He's got an injury that they're saying can keep him out for six months, and then they're trying to find a quick fix. Ain't no quick fix. That's just them in damage control trying to save face. Like, say we're working on something. They know that the shit is over. Yeah. You heard him say he's crying. In fact, this is a perfect time to play the interview over again to put it into more context. This is from, let me tell you who it is. It's um, Seven News um, in Australia. Are you familiar with that network, Big J? Oh, yeah. There's only four major mainstream networks in Australia. Seven, Ten, Nine, and uh, ABC. So, yeah, that's one of the four biggies, and it's a... Uh, mainstream free to air network, so very familiar with them. Yeah. Got you. So basically, right. so basically, um, we were looking for clips, you know, to try to show you guys, and this is right now the only one that's available. So I'm, I'm guessing the news, and this usually works. I, I, I can, I can, I can credibly say this because I cover Australian boxing, been doing it for years. The news of stuff like this won't hit the major U.S. sites like boxing scene. You know, and uh, and uh, boxing twenty four news for probably like another few hours or so from now. So we're pretty much the first ones on it. And this is the only. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to say is, it's not that much footage out there from it. So they're pretty much the only ones that have it. And we've searched YouTube and Facebook, and this is from Twitter. Here, let me turn it back up. Up on Justice Hooney's fight for gold in Tokyo. Australian Olympic boxing officials haven't given up on Justice Hooney's fight for gold in Tokyo, but the devastated young boxer has, after a hand injury, suffered beating up Paul Gallen. For 15 years, he's dreamed of becoming Australia's first boxing gold medalist. Yeah, I got the news last night, uh, and I, I broke down in tears. Eh? I feel like I let I let my uh, the boxing team down, and. Uh, you know, all of Australia. Justice Hooney pummeled Paul Gallon for 10 rounds last Wednesday. He'd taken a niggling hand injury into the bout, but aggravated it in the first round. Gallon's pre-fight promise is now cruelly prophetic. Let's break your jaw, break your face, break your arm. Bring it, bring I don't it. care what it is. I'm going to do bring everything it. I can to break it something on. in you so you don't, you don't go to the Olympics. That dream since you've been seven years old is going to be mm. Hooney needs surgery. Officials are still desperately seeking a quick fix 
but now he's resigned to six months out and waiting for 2024. I'll definitely be looking in um, China make that Olympics. Still just 22, under current rules, Huni could only take four more pro fights to stay eligible for Paris. Matt Carmichael, 7. So it's it's over. He already said he's preparing for... It's over. No, it's over. It's over. And uh, you're right, he, you know, because done. it all falls on the person who signs the contract, and it is the fighter. He took the fight, and he took an injury going... He had a nagging injury going into the fight. The shit should have been postponed. You know, like, it's aggravating when fighters do shit like that, but it's like, well, wait a minute, it's not my motherfucking gold medal, it's your gold medal that you motherfucking fucked up. You know, so I can't sit here, and, you know, now I'm starting to feel what Big J was feeling, you know, before. It's like, yo, I can't feel sorry for you, man. You know, especially yeah, when we were talking yourself. about it, we did videos talking about, I don't know, what if he gets hurt? You know, it is a little weird. Why is he having this little studio fight? Then another fight after that, you know, when he's supposed to be going to the Olympics. And of course, you got to look at the promotional team. It's not nothing personal, obviously, but we got to report the fucking news. You know, it's 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 you know, it's a sad you know situation, you know, for all parties involved with Justice Hooney, him, his father. Can you imagine all that? The growing up, you know, them saying it was the dream, them working the pads when you know he's nine, ten, eleven years old, them watching the Olympics, saying that's going to be you. Him saying that growth spurt his son gets, you know, when he was about 10, 12, 13, 14, like, wow, I wonder what weight class he's going to be in. Where's he going to fill out at? He's 16, 17, realizing, oh, wow, he's going to be a cruiserweight, you know, heavyweight. We, the Olympics is right around there. We can't get to the ones in London, you know, and all that. But we can, you know, you see what I'm saying? I bet that he watched AJ win his gold medal. He probably watched AJ win his gold medal. Because AJ won his in 2012, right? If I'm correct, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. Mm -hmm. And that dream is now shot the fucking it's shit. Done. For it's what? Got, and as a as, exactly for what? To fight an ex football player? The saying and, goes, uh, the bird in the hand is better than the bird in the bush. You know, than two mm -hmm. in the bush. So the Paul Gallon fight would have still been there. It exactly, still would have been there. It didn't matter. His chances of winning gold were pretty fucking slim. You know, but, but but he's like a matter. bronze or a silver just to be in the Olympics mm. though. Now he's not in it in any capacity. Just, exactly, just to just to be in the Olympics is an achievement in its own right. Yeah. You can't take that away from anyone. I mean, people work their whole lives to get to the Olympics, and yeah. he. But I can't feel sorry because this is not. It's not like um, he was out on the town one night or someone bashed him. Yeah, or he was in an accident, cut, like, or yeah. he in mm. training. Yeah, this is all self-inflicted, and he did it by himself. And he knew he had a hand injury going into the second fight, and he still did it. Now that's so, now that's the issue. It's it's no nah, no sympathy here, bro. That's the issue. You knew you had an injury going in there with a known rugged, tough fighter who's never been knocked out. You know, and you get a come up, nah. Nah, yeah, we can't, nah, you know. I, uh, nah, I can't, I can't feel sorry, and I don't feel sorry for him. I don't. I mean, yeah. like, you've just done this to yourself, son. You've just pissed all over your dream that you had for seven, for whatever, how many years it was. And I, 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 by being angry, you just don't know what to say. Yeah, because I remember but, in our last video when we did our um, um, Gallup versus Hooney post fight, we were talking about, and we pulled up the Olympic schedule, and, you know, I was interested. I was going to commit to be like, all right, Justice Hoon is going to be televised here. I'm going to cover, you know, I'm going to cover his Olympic progress. And then, look. You and know, the worst thing and is we couldn't even watch the, 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 the gallon fight over here in the States. We didn't have access to it. So I no, was excited. And, 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 and for us American media members, you know, he, he fucked himself over in more ways than one. Absolutely. And he's taken away all the attention from the other boxers now because now no one's going to care about the Olympic boxing team now because yeah. all they were talking about was justice. Yeah. I think Sky Nicholson is maybe another member on the team. Mm -hmm. I think one of the female fighters, I think that's her name. And that's a, probably a very bad guess. I apologize if I got her name wrong, but that's the only other person I could name possibly on the team. I don't know anyone else's name. And I've seen videos and all I ever talked about was justice. I've seen videos on the Australian Olympic boxing team. Justice this, justice that. That's all gone now. So, yeah, I mean, 
I mean, Justice was not just the hope for the Australian boxing team. He was a hope for the Olympics because I don't yeah. know anyone else that's going to the Olympics from Australia from any event because you don't see it on the news. Yeah. All, they, all they were talking about was Justice. Oh, the Campbell sisters, but don't get me started on those two. Um, uh, yeah, I, did, I didn't know anyone else who was going to the Olympics, or whatever sport, because the only thing I knew about was Justice. Maybe I was just blindsided because I was mainly interested in boxing at the moment, but I don't know anyone else who's going to the Olympics for any other event. So, yeah, it was it was all on his shoulders. It was he was the great hope, and now it's just done. Yeah. All right. It's, well, it's, it's done. Yeah, and and yeah. it's and 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 now I don't. What about his pro career? Because now what are they going to do with him? He's going to be out for six months. He's got to have surgery on his hand. By the reports that I've seen, I've seen more than one say that he needs surgery. He's not going to be able to fight till at least October. I've had a hand injury. I've had hand surgery. That changed my I bloody just hand had look at my hand. I just broke my hand. I have what's called a boxing fracture. My hand is you still both. fucked up and deformed. My hand is deformed, yo. And this was three months ago. You've seen my thumb. I've sent you a video. Yeah, of it. I like broke my, my thumb hand, twenty my years hand ago. Is, my 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 hand is messed up. Well, you've seen. Oh, I showed you the video. Remember I know. My thumb. You know, I can barely move. And, that was 20 like, years ago. I and they were trying to, you know, say, like, there can possibly be a quick fix. Ain't no quick fix. Oh, he, he's shit. out. He's, he's done. He's done. He's so, done. Luke, Lucas Brown, you know, I mean, huh? you know, it, it's time for him now to focus on his pro career. The Olympic dream is over, you know. And it's it's so, it's a damn, sh it really is a damn shame, but he did it to himself. Yeah. All right. Well, then we can just wrap up right there. This is T Street Controversy and Big J with FightView360.com. Please take your time out, like, and subscribe.